Uh, I started a new. I've started a new uh, live video. Obviously, uh, it looks like it's working. It sounds like happening there. Bonjour. We gotta hope that people will find it and share it. That's all we can really do. Uh, but let's start again. Okay. They'll find it. They'll share it. Uh, if not, the replay will be there. <laughs> so, for you guys who have just tuned in, it's a beautiful day in uh, Montmartre. I'm here with Philippe from Secret Journeys. I call him the Wizard of Paris. Uh, that's better okay it's working out no idea what happened there uh people who have okay they're tuning in if you found it share it around let's get back up to the 200 people who were watching live just a second ago philip how are you i'm good Stressful i'm good stuff. thank you yes yes but you know this is uh this is part of uh this is part of the experience and we'll make it happen now great to see you all bonjour bonjour à tous so i'm philip yeah. oliver calls me the wizard of paris uh, for a reason it's because uh, i'm a bit of a magician and i actually always have this pocket wand and i'll redo this little trick this sounds is... familiar to me <laughs> a magician take... never repeats his tricks yeah, exactly take two so for those of you who have seen it already close your eyes a bit of a repeat <laughs> and don't don't tell the trick yeah but i'm i'm here going to give oliver oliver g from the airful tower i hereby give you the power to open up the private gate of the Clou Montmartre, the Clou Montmartre Vineyard Estate. Bling! Look in your pocket, Oliver. There should be something. So people say they've been dying to see this trick. Me too. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh. And it's oh. a key. And it's a key. Let me see. What? Oh, oh, what, 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 what? Okay, what? it's a key. So this key, actually, this key is not the key that's going to open up the gate of Montmartre. The Clou Montmartre. It's actually a cork. President of the Comité Social, uh, Comité des Fêtes et d'Action Sociale, COFAS, C O F A S. And the next time you are here, and I hope it's very, very soon, people might know where we are, so I might, might not know. So I'm going to show, and I'm going to keep my hand here in case this is good. Yeah. made the, the loud sound come. We're walking away from this windy place really quickly and hopefully it stops when we stand so, here. Oliver, okay, what, what do you see up there? What, what do you read up here on this kiosk? This is the, the Petit Kiosque de la Butte and this is the only kiosk in front of the Sacré Coeur. So Oliver, what do you read up there? I see... Is that a real fly? <laughs> <laughs> it's you see, what are the letters? Kofas. Kofas. So that actually is the association which actually runs this kiosk and underneath what do you see? And uh, all of you, what do, what do we see underneath? Can it's you guys it. see that at home? Grapes. It's, it's grapes. So there you already have a very strong connection between the Kufas, this association, and the grapes, the vineyard. Because the Kufas runs the vineyard and makes the wine. And it's thanks to selling the wine that the Kufas is able to give away the, the, the benefits to charity on the Butte Montmartre. And there's a link with the story we're about to tell you. And Oliver, do you remember at Notre Dame, your favorite character is what's his name? Eugène Villers-le-Duc. Eugène Villers-le-Duc. Well, in this Eugène. story, in this story today, our main character is Francisque Poulbeau. And Francisque Poulbeau, I guarantee you, Oliver, at the end of this experience, he will be in your top three with Eugène Villers-le-Duc and maybe Edith Piaf too, because Big I call. know you like her. Big call. Oh, big call. Okay, <laughs> we got a, lot, a top so, three coming. Let's let's get walking. Let's I'm going walking. to introduce you to Laurence. Laurence is our expert storyteller from Secret Journey. Mm -hmm. Laurence was born in in Burgundy. She's behind us, but I'm going. I'm introducing her as we're walking. Okay. Laurence was born in Dijon, and she was blessed by the fairies. So another wand, but a fairy wand. The fairies of gastronomy and patrimony. Okay. And so, Laurence is no better person better expert to tell you about Francisque Poulbeau, about the Clomont Mart, because she was trained. And Laurence, you can join us now because I'm going to introduce you now. Here is Laurence. Hello. Laurence was yeah. trained as in, in hospitality and enology, has traveled the world, and, and now is living in Montmartre, knows intimately the Clomont Mart, the vineyard, Perfect. knows intimately Francisque Poulbeau, actually his life, 
Nice. And I'm going to let you, Oliver, with Laurence, and I'll see you at the end at the Clos Montmartre. I'll see okay, you there. I need to open up the gates. Thank with, you for the magic. Bye-bye. Laurence and I, we're going to be walking, Hello. talking. Uh, first, first, I'm going to show what we see, Laurence. Uh, you mean naked? <laughs> well, <laughs> she took her mask off. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to walk around the back of... Uh, of this building here. Where you live nearby in Montmartre? Or? I live down the hill. Okay. And actually, I'm not a real Montmartrois, you know, because there is a very still village streets, lovely, lovely, humble and simple uh, houses. Okay. Okay. Montmartre is not that, like the Haussmann in an Opera Avenue with elegant buildings and rich places. Here, you have a humble and simple people living. Okay. May I ask why you wanted to live in Montmartre out of all the places in Paris? Well, I decided, you know, uh, I did my best to um, join a decent place that would uh, have a kind of story to, to enjoy. And Montmartre, then the area of Montmartre, is one of these areas in Paris. And look in front, in front of us now, we have St. Peter, which is the glory of the St. Peter Street Church, one of the most, one of the oldest church in Paris. What, this one up here on the right? Yes. Older than Notre Dame? Of course, <laughs> older than Notre Dame. Oh, let's have a look there and then we're going to go back there, right? Okay. I've just, I'm just going to have a, a, a second before we show, before we talk anything more about this church. Just a second to talk to the people who've tuned in. So if you have just tuned in, this is Laurence, my Hello. expert. I'm Oliver G. Hello. <laughs> uh, we had technical difficulties on the first bit. Who cares? It's working now. There's uh, 60 people are watching. If you've, uh, if you see that other previous link that didn't work, let people know to come and join us here because we're about to go into the vineyard of Montmartre. Now everybody's caught up. Okay, uh, that's what, the idea. Yeah. <laughs> what do we need to know about this church? Old. Oh. Well, this is a, a glorious church because it was founded by the king, king of France, who is the sixth, and uh, his wife, Adelaide. And, uh, his wife is Adelaide? Adelaide. Like in Australia? Adelaide, absolutely, uh -huh. absolutely. And we have her uh, grave here in the, in the church. What a lovely name in French, it's, Adelaide. Ah, uh, it's magnificent, it's a magnificent. Uh, Shall we go this way? Yes. Now I need to ask you something. Uh, Philippe promised me that this chap, Francisc Poulbo, would be my favorite uh, person. Is he connected to the people I've seen walking around Montmartre before drumming? Or is that a different thing? It's very different. Oh. Uh, Poulbo, it's part of this Paris, of this humble and popular Paris. Um, here at Montmartre, it's, the, it's quite difficult to uh, meet ki this kind of people. Uh, they're shy people now, you know. They try to hide and uh, to uh, live secretly uh, and hidden, most of all. But we still have some clues of this old and ancient energy of the Montmartre between both world wars. Is this where you stop? Well, hang on, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> What's this? Oh my god! The little Poulbo! Here they are! Look at them! They're so famous here in Montmartre! Is this great! It's such a fantastic memory. What, what and is... everything is linked with Francisco Poulbo. I'll tell you why afterwards. Are these guys here for us? I don't know. Let's watch and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know.
the pool bow here for an Eiffel Tower walk show. This is a treat. I, I think, uh, uh, 10 seconds. Uh, 10 seconds? No, one minute. <laughs> 60 seconds. You Parisian now. Okay, because we, we, what a surprise to see them walk out. Here is uh, one of the Petit Boulbou. Bull, yes. But, but quickly, Laurence, before they leave us, can you tell us in one minute what's going on? So what's going on? It's a, it's a charity, uh, it's a charity commitment of Francisco Poulbo and friends and people from Omar, okay? Artists, uh, writers, actresses, and uh, people willing to do the good, but with joy, okay? And um, using their uh, VIP status as a way to raise money <laughs> for the needy people. Fantastic. Huh? So at the time of Pulbo, the needy ones were the children. Nowadays, in two, uh, 2021, they are the elderly okay? okay right and still the charity business goes on P perfect well done in one minute too and if we if we're lucky uh, folks watching at home lots of wind well uh, we're gonna it is very windy here I'll hold it down like yes. this so you can see it's more no. uh, yeah we're on top of a hill there's no... the reason why we had windmills <laughs> yes yes right stand next Remember. to me so the, yes <laughs> Uh, these uh, these petit poulbou is the word, right? The yeah. drummers. Uh, they're joined by the master of the drums. Yes, Joel. Uh, uh, and they're about to walk. They're about to guide us all the way down to the vineyard. Absolutely. Is that right? Absolutely. I hope so. So all we can really do is follow. Uh, follow with hope. And brilliant, uh, Catherine Siegel uh, says, "Raising spirits." Thanks so much for sending that uh, donation, Catherine. That, I was wondering if anyone would donate, that is going to go straight to buying some Montmartre wine. I'll tell you more about my idea at the end, uh, but it looks like they're about to start uh, drumming. So let's get on with it. And then show you the weather. The weather is beautiful. Let's go, Ale!
Merci à vous Well, I will go in, yes. Wow, we're in. Look at the magic. Look who it is. Uh, this is Francisco Pulbo. Huh? Philip told you about magic. Yes. I'm going to tell you about heart. Oh, wow, okay. So, f before anything, I just want to uh, welcome all the people who've just joined while we've been. Yes. Uh, so if you just join and you don't know what's going on, that's fair enough, it's a bit confusing. Uh, we were just surprised, this wasn't a surprise, we were doing it for you guys there at home uh, by the Pulbo, Petit Pulbo, the drummers. Petit Pulbo. Uh, that was for you guys, so I'm glad that we got everything working in the end. Now we're going to look inside this uh, vineyard that's always closed to uh, the public. But you're no, holding the, the public, door open. Yes, yes. So. I tell you what. Wow. Okay, so I'm just going to show quickly what I'm looking at and then you're going to tell me all about it. Is that the idea? Come on. Okay, I've never been in here before. I'm quite excited. Uh, <laughs> this is brand new for me too, guys. I'll just give you the quick lay of the land before anything else. And for you guys sending in those uh, Super Chat uh, donations, you know I'm a bit uncomfortable with taking donations, but what I figured we'll do is we'll uh, buy big stock from uh, these guys here who could certainly use the support and uh, we'll have an earful tower party when everything gets back to normal. So that is what any super chats are going towards, uh, towards this very institution. Now for some facts. Laurence! Look, someone's trying to get in. They can't. Now what? Now, what do you want to know? Everything I got. I, I want to know everything and I want, we can answer questions from people at uh, home because that's okay. what this is all about okay. as well. Uh, and it was hard to answer questions before because of the wind and the drumming and the electrical uh, s storm going on in okay. my hand. Uh, and some comments come in just so you know. Uh, people are giddy with excitement right now. Okay. Uh, and uh, me too. Oh, come with me. And on the way, I tell you some, some you know, points about this fantastic clue. Um, if you are... I have to stop you. Yeah. When you say claw, what does that mean? Alors, a claw means walled. Okay? Is it? A claw, it means a parcel, a plot, uh, uh, protected by walls. Uh, if you are interested in wines, for example, in Burgundy, mm -hmm. the most famous claw, Claw de la Romane Conti, Claw de, well, Claude de Bez, Claw de la Romane Conti. Yeah, for. for that means that they are protected by wolves, protected against the animals with four legs, legs. and two legs also. Okay. Uh -huh. So the idea of a claw is you cannot get freely inside. And that's or the point outside, here. if you get stuck inside. That's not the problem. That's not a problem. Okay, let's Genera continue. In general, you, you, you are very happy to go inside and you don't don't want to get out. I ask some stupid questions, Laurence. I need to tell you that from yeah. the beginning. Just beware. I have childish questions. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't fear. Anything, okay. Good. You know? Good. I'm good. a Parisian. Okay. So. Great. <laughs> Hang on. You're not really a Parisian, though. You no, said that you I'm were from. Okay. You are. Okay. But you. But for the people who tuned in late, you were born in. In Burgundy. Burgundy. So okay. wine is important to you then. Alors, um, well, this place is technically not suitable for a vineyard because we are facing north uh -huh. okay and the reason why you have a vineyard here it's not only before because of the wine it's because of Francisco Fulbo and his charity commitment to the kids of Montmartre uh -huh. okay in 1933 and it, that's where all the story began okay and uh, well, they decided to protect the place and raise money for it, from it. And in France, what could be the most interesting thing to raise money from it? A vineyard. A vineyard. It's very, okay. That sounds very French. That's yes. what Pulbo and his friend decided to, uh, you know, blossom here. And since 1933, it's working. So this has this been here since 1933. Absolutely. Thanks to Monsieur Pulbo. And friends, okay, but and not friends. alone, of okay. course. No. And uh, you know, we have a, a very committed team of people, volunteers, uh, the gardeners of the city of Paris, and uh, people like me, uh, 
who are really dedicated to maintain the place alive. So when you say that it faces north, for people who are, who are maybe trying to understand, you know, people watching around the world now maybe haven't got kind of the idea of where we are. We're on the hill, like Sacre Coeur is, is, is like there, right? Okay, usually when you visit Montmartre, you yes. arrive by the south yes. of the hill. But we are on the other side, on the other slope of the right. hill. We are facing north. And when we are, when you are in France, north of the Loire Valley, right. reasonably, generally, your vineyards have to face south. South. Because of the climate. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. So that means that the wine maybe isn't very good or? I don't know. We have to taste it. <laughs> yeah, I think we do have You'll to. You'll tell taste. me. <laughs> you t tell me now. There's some comments coming through. I saw someone asking, did they see different flowers here? And that looks like a certainly yes is the uh, answer to that. Yes, of course, because of course it's a vineyard, but also it's a lovely preserved um, secret place inside of a big city. That's true. And we just need to protect the area and raise flowers and have bees oh, yes. and some bugs and all those little friends okay uh, so important for us there? um no because uh, i know the price oh really and i won't live there <laughs> oh anyway. my goodness okay my goodness look at in front of you they have terraces and lovely places and uh, someone says uh, this vineyard is nearly as old as australia that's a comment Mm, I wouldn't say so, but in <laughs> Paris, uh, you know, at the end of the 18th century. Let's the, walk and talk, yes? At yes. the end of the 18th century, Paris was the biggest vineyard in France. Really? Yes, yes, uh -huh. indeed. Before Phylloxera, okay? So yeah, let's go back to the, the strategic place where we're going to taste the food of the vines. So this is a very small, I read that it was 0.15 hectares. Absolutely, absolutely. And look at the flowers. Uh, Rodney McGregor in Perth, I believe, wonders what grape varieties are grown ah, here. Ah, I knew the Australian people were so much interested in wine. That's true. In fact, in 1933, when they uh, decided to plant the vines here, France wasn't regulated yet by the laws of the AOP, the appellations, all right? So, in Montmartre, we had the absolute freedom of plant what we wanted to. And you have around um, 20, between 30, 20 and 25 different varieties, old ones. And it's a kind of library, uh -huh. okay? Uh, old varieties and some forbidden varieties. Really? Yes. Why are they? Because the Noah variety has been forbidden. Because it was said that uh, this variety would get people mad. What are you talking about? Uh, shh. Shh. It's a secret. Okay. Well, you've just told hundreds of people. I don't care. Okay. Just come and have and test the wine and you'll get mad. Which, uh, <laughs> uh, where, like walking around, is there places to, is, is it just kind of these main walkways? What goes, what's up here? How many times have you been in here, by the way? Oh, I don't know. Look at my... <laughs> Why you don't have numerous, numerous, number of times, you know, but we uh, welcome some groups and some VIP people very much interested in, in wines and in the story of Montmartre. And here you have some twinnings with cherry here, with strawberry. Is, does that mean that the strawberries are from Carpentras? Absolutely, uh -huh. Carpentras. Is I believe we have someone watching who has a house in Carpentras. Ah, so come to Montmartre and have the, you can taste <laughs> the, the strawberries of Montmartre. Wow, and that's a cherry tree. Absolutely. Oh, lovely. Wow. Tell us where you're watching from as well, folks, so we know, so Laurence knows how many people, Laurence knows how many people are watching from all over the world. But this here is the Montmartre Museum, isn't it? It's the Montmartre Museum and Poulbo, Francisco Poulbo, for a while, had his studio you know, he was a cartoonist, a very successful one. And for a while, he, he, he used to work just over there. There. And uh, that's one also of the reason why when he heard that the place was to be covered with buildings, uh -huh. low rental housing, he decided to, you know, just keep the place safe. And it's a, 
it's one of our struggle. I won't, I won't tell you all my secrets. You won't tell all your secrets but today. One of my commitment with the people, the team of Montmartre, is to keep Montmartre safe. Uh -huh. And it's the day-to-day -day struggle. Okay? Look at, if you can see here, look at where people are watching from. Great. Look at these, all these cities and towns, Denmark, Chicago, Canada. Oh, Denmark. Do they have vineyards in, in Denmark? Vineyards? I, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Do you have the, vineyards the in changes, Denmark? With the changes? Uh, we got someone watching in Bourgogne. Oh, who? Uh, April Pet. <laughs> A tour guide. Okay. Hello, April. Um, this is great. I'm enjoying this immensely. Uh, is this oh, is this for us now or are we to I, I hope so okay i hope so unfortunately the the the, the 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 mobile cannot transmit you the flavor the aromas but the color and the joy we're going to you know share together you're going to be part of it well okay? i'm very good at explaining things so i'll be able to explain to everybody the taste okay. uh right. what's going what is this though i love this this is like uh you could get married in here Bonjour, monsieur. I'm going to turn the camera around so they can. Uh, yes, you can hear us better. You know, you know this game. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Bonjour. Nice, nice Bonjour. to see you all again. Uh, so this is Eric Eric Suro, a president of the Cofas. Uh, we we talked about him at the beginning of our little walk together. It might have been the beginning of the other walk. So if you can re-explain the Cofas quickly. <laughs> yeah. So the Cofas is the Comité des Fêtes. Et d'action sociale. So it's a committee that organizes events and social actions. Uh, so really giving back to the community, giving back to charities. Uh, and actually, Eric is the president, as I said, of this this um, wonderful association. There are about 50 members of the association. And uh, the way they actually bring uh, sort of benefits to the association is in in part with thanks to this uh, vineyard, which actually the city of Paris gave them the uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, the, uh, the right to use uh, this land and uh, and take care of the winemaking of this land. So Eric actually is president of the Cofas, also the winemaker of the Clos Montmartre. Uh, and the, 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 the Clos Montmartre is actually, the wine is made at the Mairie, the city hall, in uh -huh. the 18th yes. arrondissement. Monsieur le maire Eric Lejoin. <laughs> That's him, yes. Yeah, C'est him. You speak English. Le, le, le même prénom. Yeah, le même prénom que vous. Oui, yeah, voilà. yeah, same, same, same first name. And so it's in, it's in the, the, the cellar of uh, the Mairie du 18e arrondissement where the wine is actually uh, uh, made. Uh, Strangely enough, uh, you guys who've been listening for a while, one time, if I speak slowly, do you understand? No. No, okay. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll make the... Uh, so one time I did an interview, maybe you guys remember, with Eric Lejoindre, and he showed me the um, cellar oh, of the 18 okay. okay. So I have seen it. J'ai vu le... Il l'a vu, parce qu'il a interviewé le rencontré Eric. Il a interviewé. C'est un ami de la show, je peux dire. And so what's what's wonderful in this in the story, and I know with Laurence you talked a lot about Francisco Poulbo, and you've seen the Petit Poulbo, is one of the the uh, organizations that the Cofas gives money to uh, for funding is the Petit Poulbo. Great. Uh, there are other associations. Uh, Cofas also organizes events for the seniors, for the elderly. Uh, and for the needy, so there's really this, this strong sense of community. Uh, also linked, there's a strong connection to the Republique de Montmartre. Uh, Laurence, I don't know if you, Laurence told you about the Republique de Montmartre. There's about a thousand members, and it's actually an, their own republic within Montmartre, uh, and their own democracy, and it's a very strong binding opportunity, and, uh, and so Eric has also a role at, with the Republique de Montmartre. Shall we sit and talk about Let's, it? Yes, we can, okay? we can talk. Uh, yes. Laurence, you know you know a lot about the Republic of Montmartre, so why don't you have a seat next to? Uh, yeah. Uh, you, you open the bottle. I'll, I'll serve the wine. First, I'll, I'll show the wine, and uh, we have many on a beaucoup de questions pour vous, Monsieur. Uh, and everyone at home, this is a, a great opportunity to send in a question to a guy who's doing something fascinating in Paris, and I will ask the question. Uh, Philippe will help me translate if I can't do it. Uh, but the first one: Do you have plans to have the wine festival in October? The Fête de Vendange. Fête des Vendanges, ouais. oui. Ça va... Cette année, c'est annulé ou non Non, cette année, en 2021, non, on va avoir normalement la Fête des Vendanges avec un thème sur le futur, <rire> sur, euh, j'espère, euh, même l'avenir euh, qui sera rayonnant euh, et qui va pouvoir euh, faire en sorte qu'on va pouvoir avoir la Fête des Vendanges cette année. 
in short, it's gonna happen. Uh, it'll be a little bit different than I imagined with the masks, but it's a, was it a theme of the future that I understood? Yes, yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. Okay, so it's gonna happen if you guys come here to town. We just have to, avec le masque, c'est un peu. C'est chiant. It's, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? Guys? <laughs> Sean, maybe annoying isn't the best translation. A little worse than annoying. Remember, we are we are in Montmartre. Free spirit, free minders, and free vocabulary. It's funny, I want to just change the subject quickly. Uh, speaking of vocabulary, uh, I say it English and then French. Yesterday I met an older woman in the seventh arrondissement and I used the word dégueulasse, which means disgusting. J'ai utilisé le mot dégueulasse avec une femme un peu une vieille dame. Une vieille dame, dame Et elle était. Elle était surprise. Pas surprise. Dégoûtée. Exactement. Elle a dit. Oh non, mais On dit dégoûtant, monsieur, elle a dit. Oui. C'est une personne âgée. Ah, mais oui, mais <rire> qu'est-ce que vous pensez C'est dégueulasse, c'est eux qui utilisent un mot. Oui, ça. bien sûr, c'est français, c'est dans le dictionnaire. Ok, et ça veut dire qu'à Montmartre, c'est un peu différent, euh, 7e arrondissement peut-être 18e. Oui, mais ça, ici, c'est. Ah, le 7e, le 7e, c'est ailleurs. Sérieux. Ils n'ont pas l'esprit Montmartre 3 dans le 7e. Ok, guys, you understand this C'est pas Montmartre, ok Montmartre est Montmartre. So, I don't know if you guys caught that, but the word, uh, I used a word that's a bit like saying bloody disgusting in the 7th arrondissement. And uh, Eric says that in Montmartre, you can get away with that kind of stuff. There's a different mentality here. Uh, ok, uh, another question that's come in uh, from Sean. It sounds like the vineyard is struggling to exist. Can you talk about why? Does someone want to translate that? que le, la, la vie n'a du mal à exister, à, à, à survivre. Et est-ce qu'il y a des raisons Mais en fait, non. Moi, je... What, what, I, I don't think, actually, there's a... There's a it's actually it's doing pretty well. It's doing actually, well. Eric was telling me that this vintage, 2019, was sold out, even during the pandemic. Uh, so they're actually doing pretty well. They're selling 1,500 bottles. Uh, 500 is rosé. 1,000 bottles. Oh, these are fiat, small bottles. 1,000 are red wine. But these are actually the last of the vintage 2019, which we are going to taste together. And I will show this. I think maybe the idea that there's a struggle is because the shops are closed and it's harder to, to buy the wine uh, for, for people. Is that true? Mm. Although, although, uh, although you were saying, Eric was telling me that there's one shop that has been selling the wine, which is... Uh, le, le, La Maison des Epicuriens. La Maison des Epicuriens on Rue Lamarque. La Maison des Epicuriens on okay. Rue Lamarque. And they've been selling... Trois dernières. Trois dernières. Uh, We're tasting one of the three last ones of uh, the vintage 2019. Uh, le, la cuvée 2020. Oui. Elle, est, elle, est, elle en est où Elle en est où Elle est en partie en bouteille. So I was asking about the vintage 2020. Uh, part of it is in bottles already. 500, il y a 500 bouteilles de rosé en bouteille. Uh -huh, 500 Et, uh, rosé. Yeah. Et uh, il y a 1000 bouteilles qui vont être mises en bouteille d'ici le mois de mai, juin. So by May, June, a thousand of the red wine will be put into the bottles. So, okay. uh, so 2020 is coming soon. Online, Eric was telling me that online sales are also doing great. So, so they've been able really That's to what sell. I was going to ask, parce qu'il y a les gens euh, aux états unis et en Australie qui peut-être veulent acheter le... Oui, ils le... peuvent acheter. Ah oui, c'est sur, sur l'internet, c'est possible Oui, sur, sur internet, sur le site internet du comité des fêtes. Et c'est quoi exactement le site C'est pour regarder comité des fêtes de Montmartre. Comité de fête de Montmartre. Uh, someone who speaks French maybe can link that below, and you can and they can, uh, and they can order it uh, below. And I just want to say that the people who've been sending in super chats, as I said, I'm going to put all of that into buying wine. And the idea is uh, to have a, a big party. Quand c'est normal encore à Paris, je vais uh, faire une grande fête oui. pour fêter le fêter, uh, Paris, fêter et Paris Montmartre, Montmartre avec votre vin. Que et je bah, vois puis en ici. plus, on va le boire bien. On verra. <laughs> and of course, we're going to drink some. So here it is in front of us. So this is 2019 Paris wine. I've never tasted it. Jamais, uh, jamais tasted it. Faut boire. We have to drink. So wine is to be shared, okay? Merci. We can take off the mask, says, uh, <laughs> <laughs> says Eric with a laugh. Here we go. Now we can have some. This one's for me. Okay, guys, I hope uh, everything, everyone's keeping up with everything that's going on because I'm doing my best here. <laughs> Keep this, the search donc for... Là, donc on va pouvoir goûter le vin. Okay, how Sorté. do we... And how do we do it? It's just... Uh, uh, well, I, I want to do a toast for Francisque Poulbeau. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, to Francisque Poulbeau, uh, to all of you watching us, and hopefully uh, you'll be able to experience what we're doing right now soon, very soon. 
and to uh, to Eric and the Cofas for everything, the great things you're doing on the Butte Montmartre, mm -hmm. and for welcoming us today. Merci, Merci. Erika. So to, to Pulbo and followers. And, and, followers. Uh, and you are of the followers. Et on peut dire <laughs> que on va avoir une cuvée spéciale cette année pour les petits Pulbo. Uh -huh. With an etiquette special for the little Pulbo. Okay, so there'll be a, cookie, there'll be a, uh, a vintage, a special vintage with a special sticker uh, for Petit Pulbo. Okay, so, so that will be uh, 2020. 2020, so 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020. Yeah. 2020. So a special wine cuvée. coming out, a very good uh, cuvee is vintage, right? Yes. So a beautiful vintage coming out. You guys can keep your eyes out for that. Uh, but for me, I'm going to have a taste of this. <laughs> Santé. 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 Santé to the one at home. Now that is some good wine. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, it's very good. Really fruity. Very huh? fruity, very wow. good. Light. Bon pour la santé aussi, j'imagine. Two verres de vin par jour. Two. Is that true? <laughs> That's <laughs> the <laughs> French <laughs> paradox, you know. Two glasses of wine per day uh, is the French paradox, but it's healthy. Correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, Philippe. Oui. What did you think of the wine? Well, I think this wine, especially when you taste it here. It could only taste splendid and fabulous mm -hmm. when you're here, uh, but it, it is it is a it's a unique wine because as I think Laurence Laurence I don't know if you explain how many different grapes and varieties there are, but that's I think it's unique in the world. Huh? How many different uh, grapes, uh, Eric? Combien de, de cépages différents? Trente cépages. Thirty different grapes. You talked about this already, so mm -hmm. I don't yes. want to repeat. But so that really shows how unique the taste is. There was a question about that that someone asked that maybe I've lost already. Uh, someone asked if the if the wine, this wine is made with all the different uh, grapes. Ça veut dire que vous utilisez tous le all the grapes, all the grapes. Okay. How do you say grape? Is grape? Oh wow, so easy French. It's just the same as English. <laughs> Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, here is the bottle, and who is it? Who is it? C'est Francis qui est pour le beau. Ça c'est fruit. Ah oh, oui, okay. C'est pas c'est pas Alain Cocard, le président de la République uh -huh. de Montmartre. And there he is. This is a beautiful uh, <laughs> bottle of wine. Just getting a closer look there. Twenty. C'est pour les cent ans de la République de Montmartre. Okay, so this is for the centenary of the Republic of Montmartre here. Okay, and with the Sacré Cœur in the background. Maybe that might interest your uh, followers from Australia. And uh, America. And America and Canada. And Denmark. Uh, and Denmark. <laughs> uh, the vineyard here is managed um, through sustainable uh, processes, okay? So with bio uh, processes. That means that we really uh, check uh, the treatments and everything and this sustainable uh, way of life is really important because all the gardens of the city of Paris are also kept with this sustainable process. So the vineyard is indeed very good. The wine of Montmartre is really good for your health. That's the point. Brilliant. Okay. okay. It's an organic wine. Perfect. That's okay. right when someone Look at asked. Me. I'm 18 years old. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay? Yes, I know. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, Eric. <laughs> Eric, uh, <laughs> do you, you live in Montmartre? Je I live and I am born. Okay, so he was also born here. Do you, you think that it has changed a lot in to live in the most beautiful city in the most beautiful city in the world. Wait, to, to live in the most beautiful village in the most beautiful city in the world? Uh, on est bien et on, on, ça change la vie. Okay, that means... Uh, et, et tout le monde peut venir. Et tout le monde peut venir pour uh, s'en apercevoir. Everyone on can, invite tout le monde à venir. Everyone is invited to come and see for yourself. And if Eric says it's good, I believe him. Uh, and uh, I think on that note, I'm going to explain that you guys do a tour and maybe do one last quick walk around by myself while you guys have some wine. Is that all right? Okay, so uh, I'm going to say merci beaucoup. Merci. Ça, c'était absolument beautiful. Merci. Uh, and merci uh, for being on the show. Merci que vous êtes ici avec, uh, avec nous. And thank you, everybody, for joining. Uh, hello and goodbye. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take all the listeners for a quick walk explain yep. what you do and I'll come back to finish off the wine with you. Okay guys, I'm taking the mic, get this thing off. Okay, sorry about the uh, uh, 
difficulties at the beginning with the, ah, oh, you never know. That's what happens with live. I'm glad that you guys found it. This has been really fun. I'm gonna do one more walk around and show you what we're looking at. And uh, I had no idea that you could order it online. So if you want a bottle of this for yourself, uh, find that website, I'll share it out later. If you are uh, enjoying the Earful Tower, uh, consider becoming a member because I do this kind of stuff all the time. Well, maybe not this good all the time, but pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna use these donations and buy some wine, some of which I'll send out to a lucky winner uh, who's a Patreon member. Now, I wanna talk about secret journeys as well because this happened. And I'll talk to you while showing you uh, me doing a loop. We'll see if we can get some new stuff too. Secret journeys, Philippe, uh, Philippe Erzberg, who was uh, with me from the very beginning. He does these kind of, he organized the company where you can do all sorts of really cool tours. You know, when I went out to Versailles, when it was empty, uh, when I walked around the Notre Dame, he organizes that stuff. The link, oh, it's, the link is not below now because it's a new one, but it's secretjourneys.travel, I believe. And uh, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with them in Paris. And uh, I called him up about six months or a year ago and I said, I want to get access to cool things this year, Philippe, can you help me? And then he called me up and organized this for us. So it wouldn't have happened without them. I'm super glad that you guys are here watching because it lets them know that, uh, you know, I can bring a crowd and it will probably mean that we can unlock more gates around the city. Bonjour. There's a, there's a woman to, to my right just standing there staring at me. People don't usually get in here. Um, uh, okay, okay. What have I missed? What have I missed? Thanks to all the people who send in those super chats. I'm looking forward to surprising Eric with a, a large purchase of wine, if there's any left. And uh, I guess thanks to everyone who's listened to this show so far and helped me make it what it is today. We'll finish off this loop when I get back to the hut and I'm gonna love you all and leave you all. But uh, what a time to be alive. Inside the Claude Montmartre with all these people trying to get in. Look at this. I just walk straight past them. Bonjour, bonjour. We'll go up here. Little explore. This is cool for me too, you know. Also, a friend of mine came along with a camera and took a lot of behind the scenes shots, which I'll share with you guys uh, later on Instagram and Facebook and so on. Oh, here we go. Look, we're at the top. I feel like maybe I shouldn't be walking here. I think it's all right. Oh gosh, well, I'll just have to get in trouble. I'll stick near the wall. I wonder what's over the back of this wall. Looks like a nice house. Oh. <laughs> Isn't this fun, huh? I love this. Look at the view, oh my goodness. My other goal is to get inside one of these something I'm going to be working on. Thanks for those super chats. Straight to the vineyard. Direct to the vineyard. And my idea is I'm going to have a party where we can all, like a tasting party, not like a get drunk party, a party where we can all taste Montmartre wine when everything's back to normal. What's this? All right. <laughs> France with Vero says there's a section of the old Philip Auguste wall somewhere there. Look carefully. Vero, you can't fool me. I know where all those chunks of wall are. All right, that'll do. I've done the walk. We've seen everything. I'm going to go and taste some more of this lovely wine. I am Oliver G. You are watching a walk show of uh, the Eiffel Tower. There's the guy taking pictures in the background. Looking forward to seeing them. But thanks for watching and uh, I'll be back with more. I get, we're going to lockdown tomorrow, so I probably won't be back with more videos really soon, but there's a podcast episode every Monday and you can count on that. As for me, uh, merci beaucoup. I'm going to try some wine. I'll leave you with a view.